tzedakah is actually loosely translated as charity. The rabbis teach us when a person actually takes out their wallet, takes a dollar, and gives it to a poor man, it's not the fact that they're such a good person that they have pity, but rather they're their vessel, they're that messenger. They are the emissary to make sure that that person receives the proper money so they can go and buy their lunch. And so too, when you talk about a community center that is sustained through community involvement, that is sustained through community giving, if each person that gives and opens up their wallet, they understand that they are the vessel, they are the messenger, they are the emissary to make sure that the center is open for all walks of the community for many years to come. He had to prove that he could be worth something because his father didn't think he was worth anything. And I think that's what made him work as hard as he did and take care of everyone in the family and take care of anyone that, that really needed help. One of the things that I cannot ever remember is my father ever saying no to me and my sister. He's always been just very, very wonderful. And I just wanted to say, Pop, I appreciate everything. I love you. It was just in general help. If you happened to get to his door first, it didn't really matter who you were. He would try to help you. And I think that that's really the legacy that he leaves with me, that he leaves with Tina, that he leaves with my family. Everybody who asked him for help, he tried to help him, however he could. He came here, he had four sisters. He was the youngest of the five. They came over from Poland when he was six years old. On the boat, Ellis Island, living in the Bronx. In very meager living arrangements. It's almost 600 photographs. His father was only a baker and, and you know, didn't really make a lot of money. So he had to go to work right away, knitting. He worked in factories, he did all kinds of jobs to make money to help the family. Back then, everybody was a lot closer, tighter, like a large sense of community. And I think that that whole upbringing and being with his family shaped his work ethic. It, it, it was a struggle, but then of course the success. Opportunity came that he could get into some real estate up here, met somebody, they became partners. They built about 2,400 apartment units over a period of about 30 some odd years dived into the insurance business, the mortgage business. They owned a modular housing factory. When he finally made it, he spent a lot of that time helping his family out. And he did that until the day he died. A legacy to me is when somebody does something within their lifetime, that their actions have myriads of effects, as if you throw a pebble and the ripple effect continues to go even though the pebble already hit moments earlier. About eight years ago, we um, went ahead and purchased my father's properties, Tina and myself, and we've been running, managing, developing, building, you know, all the real estate that's been in our family for about, you know, 50 years. No, no, this was in Florida. When we got to the company and we came to the office, so many of the people working there had been there forever. They all stayed because of my dad. And could not say enough about my father. And it was all a very consistent theme. How wonderful, how generous, how nice. That, you know, was just priceless, just priceless. He donated lots of money, gave to this association, that association. For the school, for the temple, for the community. You know, I, I think it's important to give back. And, you know, I, I think my father, you know, always did that too. Whether it's with your time or it's with your money, just always a sense of, you know, giving back to the community. I think it's, you know, a very important thing. Mazel tov. <laughs> when you meet Tina or David, you see how they live their life, and you see the generosity that they have. You know that this is a legacy that's lived on, passed on to them from Saul. The legacy that we have is not only, you know, how similar we are to our parents, but also, you know, what they've left us with and then what we continue to go ahead and do. You start to see how you can make a difference. 
in the community. You start to see how the community can make a difference in your life. The community center is here to service everybody. Many different branches coming together as one. Someone giving tzedakah to the community center, it's so much more than charity. It's making sure that the community center is open for all to participate for many years to come. And I really truly believe that, you know, with a little bit of, you know, TLC and a little bit of money, maybe a lot of money. <laughs> we can bring the JCC back to what it once was and have it be a pivotal you know, part of the community.